Hello everyone. Recently, the first semester of first year got over here at IIT Kharagpur. And I'm sure the situation is the same in almost all institutes of India which take admission through the JE process. At this critical juncture, when students are truly completing their first step in their transition from school life to college life, I thought that it would be a good idea if I can share some points to emphasize and highlight certain very important points which, should, which students should keep in mind as they make this transition. So what are these points? The first thing which you must realize after the completion of the first semester is that it is absolutely possible for a student who has not had a very high entrance examination rank to still be an institute topper, at least get very good results. So it is not always true that the entrance examination results directly converts to the semester performance. In fact, in our batch way back uh, in that ancient history of 2004 to 2009, what we saw was that a student who had actually been admitted in their first year in ocean engineering and naval architecture, which did not take students with very high ranks. So he actually ended up being the institute topper. Of course, he had done his department change at the end of his first year, but that is what it was. So it doesn't directly correlate the entrance examination performance and the semester performance. The next thing you must uh, realize, which is directly connected with the first point, is that if you, if you have been a very high ranker in your entrance examination and your results have not been very good after the first semester, actually, you must introspect where the fault lies. There is always a tendency or more most often, there is a tendency for, the, for such kind of students to blame the system, to blame the system of examination of this institute. They are, of course, fanboys of the entrance examination in which they had performed very well, the JE process, and they blame that this, the institute, the semester of, uh, examination system is not at all very good, and that is why they ended up did not, uh, not performing well. The semester system is at fault but perhaps introspect and realize that maybe the fault lies with you. Maybe you, it is you who need to pull up your socks and start performing well. Stop being in denial that just because your entrance examination rank was high, that will automatically convert to a good performance in the semester. There are also some students, these high ranking students who think that, okay, let me take a little bit break in the first year and then I'll really start performing to up to my potential from the second year. In certain cases it happens, but in most of the cases it doesn't happen because once you lose the momentum in the first year, it's hard to get back. Please keep this in mind. On the other hand, if your performance in the first semester has not been very good and perhaps at the same time your entrance examination rank was also not very high, there is a tendency for the students to completely lose confidence. They start thinking that perhaps they are not good enough for the institute, perhaps they are not good enough, good enough for engineering in the first place. Please stop indulging in such kind of negativity. First semester is only one eighth of the journey in most of the cases. For dual degree students, it's one tenth of the journey. There's a long, long way to go. Okay, there is absolutely no reason for you to start thinking that just because the first semester results have not been good, everything is over. Actually, we hear some kind of extremely unfortunate news uh, depending on the results uh, and I cannot emphasize this point over and over again that please please do not think that just because your first semester exams have not been up to the mark that you will not be able to buckle up and perform better next time many many students have done this before you I'm sure you too can okay it does not mean that you are not good enough. It only probably indicates that your style of studying is not proper. Okay, and as I've already said, it is very much possible that despite a low rank in the entrance examination, it is very much possible for you to perform really, really well in the semester system and realize that unlike the entrance examination, the semester system is like a marathon. Okay, the entrance examination is like a 100 meter sprint or something like that. Okay, to draw the analogy with athletics, but the semester system is like a marathon. It's a cumulative performance as it accumulates over and over the semesters and over the years. Okay, so just because one semester is bad doesn't mean 
that it is the end of the road for you. Okay, so please take some hurt in it. Another very important point is that perhaps your semester performance, the first semester performance has not been very bad, but it has not been so good that you are going to end up with a department change. Perhaps that was the hope with which you came to the institute. Perhaps you, you joined some dream institute, but you did not get your dream uh, department. And you had joined this institute with the sole aim of or depending on the on the possibility of the department change and now after the first semester performance you see that that dream is no longer viable okay so maybe you are already feeling a little bit stuck and you somehow try to escape from the system but you see no way out okay this is very very common and especially with the hype that is going around nowadays regarding the developments in artificial intelligence and machine learning and all the exciting buzzwords which you inevitably must be having you must be thinking that just because you have not been able to get into computer science or information technology or maths and computing perhaps you have completely missed the bus and you are not going to be able to do anything exciting in your actual professional life this is completely untrue please realize that every student who is studying computer science now is not going to be at the forefront of artificial intelligence technology. He or she is not going to be able to contribute to at that level. Not everybody is going to do that. So there is no guarantee that if you had been in computer science, you also would have been there. Maybe you could have been, but it is no guarantee. Just because someone is in computer science, he would be part of that exciting thing. Plus, it is extremely important to note that on a, on a longer scale, let us talk about the technology here. You see, it is going to be only a very, very few people who are going to drive the actual technological advancements associated with artificial intelligence. What is going to happen uh, on a larger scale is that once this technology is developed well enough, it is going to be applied in a variety of real world scenarios, real world engineering applications. So the necessity, the real necessity would be for true domain experts to be able to harness the power of such kind of artificial intelligence within their domains, synergistically working with the technology to find creative solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems. This cannot be done by maintenance type of low level engineers for this real scientists, real engineers with proper genuine domain expertise is needed. So perhaps if you think about it a little bit, it may be a blessing in disguise that you are in your department, which is not computer science. And perhaps it is an opportunity for you to become, uh, given that you already have some kind of an in, uh, interest in artificial intelligence, become a true domain expert. Maybe it will take four years, five years, maybe it will take 10 years time. But once you become that true domain expert, by the time you are completely embedded in the professional life in the future, you will get a very, very good opportunity to harness AI within your domain as an application. And please uh, understand this, that such kind of true domain expertise is what is going to set you apart from the rest of the crowd. So my question to you now is this, whether at this point you will just sit around complaining and regretting on the basis of your first semester results or whether you will buckle up and work your way into becoming such a scientist or engineer who becomes absolutely indispensable to the professional world for the next 50 years. You decide. Thank you very much and all the best.